How's it going YouTube? Got 4th Star TCG here and today it's the grand finale of the PSA 10 Japanese EX set. We are taking a look at World Champions Pack. Uh, this was a fairly obscure set. Uh, it was actually only available online uh, for a couple weeks to order for Japan only. Um, I actually sort of struggled with whether to collect this set for a while because technically it's not really a traditional release. Uh, there were no booster boxes. There, uh, the booster packs are like sort of fat packs. You got, I think you got a couple hollows and a bunch of commons and uncommons. Uh, the the packs are like paper. They're sort of like uh, I I can't really describe them, but they're 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 unlike any other Pokemon release. Um, so I struggled for a while deciding whether this fit in with my set-based Japanese EX goals. I eventually decided that it did, and uh, I collected all of the cards in PSA 10. Um, these were some of the last cards that I needed to complete my set, um, and you'll see from the certain numbers that this was one of the sets that I focused on uh, last. So, without any further ado, let's crack into it. The first EX card... Skarmory EX. Now again, these uh, these cards actually came out after EX Power Keepers in English, uh, and they were designed to sort of get the Japanese market up to speed with the English market uh, for Worlds uh, in 2007, uh, or maybe 2008, not sure. Uh, so that was the intention of this set. It was really just sort of a afterthought release to make sure the Japanese had all the competitive cards that were released in the set. Uh, so while EX Power Keepers is a fairly common set in English, uh, possibly the most uh, common out of the entire EX series, these World Champions pack cards are very, very rare. Uh, it's very hard to find, especially in unlimited edition. Uh, so, Skarmory EX, there you go. I love the hollow artwork on this pattern. Uh, it just works perfectly with the, the Skarmory art there. Just beautiful. Big fan of that. Next up, another card that came in fairly late in the collection and was pretty difficult to grade. Flygon EX. Again, I think I mentioned this in the Dragon Frontiers video. I do prefer the uh, Legend Maker version of Flygon EX. But, you know, you put Flygon on an EX card with some beautiful 3D Mitsuhiro Arita artwork, put in a nice orange background against the green and red of Flygon, and you cannot go wrong. Um, so, big fan of this card. Really, really like it. And it is just a beauty. Next up, Walrein EX. Again, it's kind of, it's very interesting to, to see the difference between this and, uh, and English. You know, this is, this Walrein EX, probably one of the least expensive PSA 10 EX cards out there. Uh, but in Japanese, it's not easy to find. These World Champions Pack cards are, you know, it was only available to buy for two weeks in Japan online in 2007. Um, so you put all those together, and that leads to a very small amount of product. Uh, the cards are, of course, out there, but I think this is going to become one of the hardest sets, if not the hardest set, to find uh, in the future just because of the limited release. Next up, Shiftry EX. I really, really love the artwork on this. I think this is the best illustrated Shifter EX. Uh, there's the one in Miracle Crystal as well. Um, but again, this is just beautiful. That green background works perfectly with Shifter. Just got a beautiful hollow pattern there. Uh, these cards just pop so well uh, in these PSA cases. Um, you know, getting your cards graded, I, you know, it's great for increasing the value, uh, it's great for protection, but it's also great for just showing off these cards. So beautiful. You got that swirl right there, right next to Shiftry where my, uh, where my finger is, so of course this card is immediately doubled in value, of course. Uh, <laughs> so, just a beautiful, beautiful card. 
Next up, Absol EX. This is, you know, one of the more valuable cards from uh, from World Champions Pack and EX Power Keepers. Uh, it's the only Absol EX. A lot of these cards, you know, they feature. They were featured in other sets. Um, so yeah, you know, you had Skarmory. I actually don't think there was a Skarmory EX anywhere else. Um, but you know, Flygon had been featured in two sets already. Uh, Wall Rain was in a set already. Uh, Shiftry again already in a set. And, you know, some of these other cards, you know, um, I think two out of the remaining three were also in sets. So there are only, you know, three EX cards, which were, you know, debut EX. Uh, Absol was one of them. So that's always great. And again, the artwork here, beautiful. Love the black and white sort of striped background there. Really works well with the uh, Absol uh, color pattern. Next up, this is my favorite card from World Champions Pack uh, for many reasons, and I'll tell you why. Salamence EX. Now, I just love this card. Uh, the main reason is because the hollow just pops so well. I don't know what it is with this card, whether it's the dark blue background um, or the you know card printing, but this hollow just pops. It is so amazing. You get such an amazing rainbow hollow effect and it's just beautiful um i sort of like that you know salamence doesn't take up too much space here uh and the hollow is really allowed to shine and it is amazing so that's another big reason you know salamence is one of my favorite pokemon uh, so that's a that, that's another reason why i really like this card uh, but again you know the simplicity uh, you've got the fire attack, the water attack, works really well with Salamence's coloration there. And, you know, it's just sort of like clear and simple. So, super beautiful. Just love it. Alright, down to the last couple EX cards here. Claydol EX. This actually... Uh, a lot of people aren't really fans of Claydol EX. It's, again, one of the cheapest ones uh, you can find out there in both Japanese and English. Um, but I, I like this card mainly because I uh, I have a lot of memories of it as a kid. I think my friends had Claydol EX. Maybe I had a Claydol EX at, uh, at, a, at one point. Um, so I'm a big fan of it. Super, super nice. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Uh, Pokemon design, you know, Claydol is pretty weird, uh, but it works well on this. You've got sort of like that halo around Claydol with the lasers popping off there. Beautiful Ryo Ueda artwork. Just love it. Hollow doesn't pop as much as the Salamence, but it's still pretty nice. And last but not least, the first EX card that I picked up from World Champions Pack, Metagross EX. Not too much to write home about here. Uh, pretty interesting Metagross artwork. Uh, very well done with the sort of blurring of the, I don't know, would you call that an arm or a fist or what, uh, with Metagross. Really gives you the sensation of movement there. Just love it. Uh, quite, quite the EX card and quite the set. So that's going to do it. That is every set-based Japanese EX card in PSA 10. Uh, I just, this is, this has been such a journey for me. Uh, it took me several years to complete this goal. And to the best of my knowledge, I'm the only person who's completed it so far. Uh, so I hope these series of videos have inspired you to go out and pick up some Japanese EX cards, if not complete the entire set. Um, these cards are absolute beauties, and compared to English EX, they're very affordable. You get the same artwork, uh, the same beautiful hollows, and often a higher level of exclusivity uh, with these cards, and a very, very interesting and fulfilling collecting experience. Uh, so, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and stick around for more videos. Next time I do something like this uh, might be with English EX in several years once I finish that one off.
<laughs> so once again, thanks for watching this series. I really do hope you enjoyed, uh, and I'll see you all next time.